This video will give easy to understand examples of how to complete testing safely with your multimeter. Digital multimeters come in various forms and specifications. To cover most scenarios, just make sure it can do DC and AC volts, ohms and continuity, and AC and DC current. Manual range meters are the most readily available, but an auto range meter is the easiest to use. You still need to set the meter to the proper setting, but the scale will automatically adjust to the needed range for the value measured. In these examples, we show several different meters in hopes of helping with whatever type of meter you have. If your meter does not have the settings or symbols we discuss, consult the owner's manual to verify its capability to test the circuit in question. You must first know what you are testing for and the value you are trying to verify. Without this information, you can damage the circuit and or your meter permanently. Caution: Never touch the exposed portion of the probes or any exposed conductor of the circuit you are testing. Continuity is a good test for any shorts or opens in a circuit. Continuity is used as a yes or no scenario, meaning yes, there is a connection, in which case the meter will show a value, or beep, or both, or no, there is no continuity, in which case the meter will show a 1 on the far left, or an OL for overload. Any value other than a 1 on the far left of the meter screen means there is a connection between the two points the probes are touching. Verify that the red lead is in the continuity socket. If your meter doesn't have one, use the ohm socket. The black lead will go to the comm socket. This meter has only two sockets for the probes. When you cross the leads, the meter will beep or show a low value. This indicates there is continuity. This does not rule out shorts as you can have continuity to more than one conductor. So let's say you have a piece of wire that is 15 feet long and you want to know if it's broken inside the insulator. Using the continuity meter can make this a quick and easy test by simply touching each end with a probe to check for continuity. Now let's say that the piece of wire is actually a wire loom, so there are several pieces of wire inside the same loom or insulator. You can use the continuity meter to verify that the wires are continuous and also check for any shorts from one conductor to another by touching one end of any conductor and then with the other end touching all the conductors individually. Only one should beep or give a value. If none do, then the conductor is not continuous. If more than one does, you have a short. Resistance. For resistance testing, make sure the red lead is in the socket marked ohms, the black lead connected to the comm socket, and the meter is set to the ohms setting. Remember you must test with at least one end disconnected from any circuit. Here is an example of a 0.5 ohm resistor. DC voltage. The black lead connected to the comm, the red lead connected to the voltage socket. Set the dial to DC voltage and one range higher than the value you are looking for. So for any batteries or power supplies of 2 volts to 20 volts, use the 20 volt DC range. Do not short the leads while testing as it will short the circuit and could damage your meter. If you are getting a zero reading, check the setting on your meter again. It may be set to AC. With the battery installed, you can check voltage without disconnecting it from the machine. Simply probe the positive and the negative on the battery. Voltage AC. The red probe will be in the socket marked V. The black probe in the socket marked COM. Set your meter to the proper setting and range. One range above the reading you are looking for. So for 110 volts AC from the wall, use the 200 volt AC range. Do not short the leads while testing as it will short the circuit and could damage your meter. DC current. Black in the COM socket and red in the current socket, usually indicated by an A. Some meters have separate sockets for amps and for milliamps. Always start testing with the highest range. If the value is small enough, then change the probe to the milliamp socket. Be sure you are set to the correct AC or DC current settings as your testing requires. Always set the meter to a range higher than the measurement you will be looking for. To test for current, you will have to put your meter into the circuit in series, meaning you will need to open the circuit somehow and connect one probe to one end of the circuit and the other probe to the other end of the circuit, as shown here.
When using a clamp meter for a current reading, simply make sure you have the meter set to AC or DC current depending on what you are testing for and place one conductor inside the clamp. To test current, the circuit must have power. AC current. Make sure the probes are as follows. Black in the COM socket and red in the current socket, usually indicated by an A. Always start testing with the highest range. If the value is small enough, then change the probe to the milliamp socket. When using a clamp meter for a current reading, simply make sure you have the meter set to AC or DC current depending on what you are testing for and place one conductor inside the clamp. To test current, the circuit must have power. This concludes today's demonstration.